Removals of rights. Um, I was looking at this this morning because I was randomly looking at a BBC um, article because I couldn't sort of believe the crap that there was it. A ten-year-old boy, all right, he's Muslim. I know some people go, oh, the Muslims. Look, put that to one side because I have no issues with Muslims. I know a lot of Muslims and they're all fine people. Nothing wrong with them whatsoever. Um, but basically he had written terrorist house instead of terrorist. Um, terrace is a row house if you don't know what a terrace is um, and they basically come down quite hard on him a ten, ten year old boy that, with a spelling mistake purely because he's Muslim now bear in mind the UK pushes itself as multicultural and everything else it's just contradicted itself and the bizarre thing on this they go after a ten year old boy for a spelling mistake but they don't go after MPs for child abuse um there is something se severely wrong in the UK, severely, um, to the point I'm making this video about it, because I'm tired of it. It's why people like me decide, shove the UK, you know, I'll go to the Philippines, I'll go anywhere, but the UK is not home anymore. It's, I've got my daughter in out there, but beyond that, I have no association with the country. Um... People are letting it be sleepwalked into what is the Philippines type of life. Everybody's blaming immigrants. Everybody's blaming. Don't look at the way politicians and media point you. Look the other. Because while they're pointing at you, they're doing something else. While they're blaming immigrants for everything, um, they're getting away with bankers making a fortune, bankers... Um, buying back some of the government bailed out businesses etc um, while people look on and blame immigrants for everything you know they're not looking at the fact that the economy is not recovering and it's impossible to recover there is no industry everything's sold off uh, even our power plants they've just done a deal with China and with that the, I mean, there's been talks of Cameroon making deals relating to steel in China and getting rid of the steel. And then, hey-ho, ta-ta, this week or last week, ditched a thousand jobs in the steel industry. Is it unrelated to the power plants? You tell me. Because I do not trust the media, and as such, I put it down to a lot of things. Lack of information. They're getting rid of the good stuff. The BBC has become Rupert Murdoch's Sky News nonsense. It is full of just junk. And with the removal of information, removes probably one of the last foundations of how people work together and proactively um, do things. Because the pubs used to be the source of uprisings, etc., and political discussions. And political meetings for local government, etc., where people would gather their first numbers to actually raise a political seat and work their way into government, etc., etc., are now little bistros, restaurants, and everything else because that's been corroded away with, um, I'd say that was under the Thatcher years, um, because Thatcher also wanted rid of social housing. Social housing gives people the ability to strike and things like that because there is a difference between social housing on council-owned and social housing under housing association. Housing association do not need to house somebody if they don't pay the rents. Councils do. They're legally obliged to house people even though they cannot pay the rent. And they can come to an ex agreement of 50 pence a week and this sort of thing. Housing associations can evict you. That's the difference. Now, this is why you're seeing housing associations go up and councils going down. Because they lose the ability to strike. They lose the ability to be able to fight for themselves. Because everybody gets wrapped up in the nonsense of the world. Where you turn around and go... I need to pay the bills this month, and you think, work, 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 go home, watch football on TV on the Saturday, and that's your life. They've taken everything else away from you. 
Now, the other side of this being is they've removed specialities. And I say this because look at, look at how much stuff you know yourself. Now, you may have done a degree. I mean, I know this in the FM industry. People have got degrees in chemistry and all sorts. Very few actually have engineering-related degrees. They normally have them for something completely random and have ended up in the FM industry. So you paid for expensive training and never used it, and then you're constantly fed these duff training programs by people selling you them so that you could be a member of their grouping so that you can work because they are taking a monopoly control over the industry. Um, there is something severely wrong, really is. It, it's like having a union without a union, because with that, you're paying membership to be in a little niche, um, for example, say Corgi. And although Corgi will deal with the um, gas safety, etc., they've also been hammered before because of the way they've run the business. Um, but also the amount they're charging because they run it as a monopoly. And it goes through many, many industries. You know, you have to be a member, but then to retain membership, you have to do these silly courses, like I was saying about Sipsy and its ethics course. If you need to do an ethics course, then personally, if, if I said to you, if you want to be in my club, um, you've got to be ethical. And you said, well, I don't know what ethical is, then then you'd have to do an ethic course. <laughs> but if you turn about, I've said, you want to be, we're ethical and that's it. If you get uh, kicked out for unethical practices, then that is fair enough. I shouldn't actually have to give you a training course um, because people should naturally be ethical in business. But this is what I'm saying. Things are going up. Costs are going up. Doing your normal job, they are actually trying to charge you for training and membership and everything else to do the job you normally do. This is why this year there was a bit of a foobar relating to truck drivers for Christmas deliveries. They didn't have enough drivers. Why? Because there's too much paperwork involved in being a driver and it's too expensive for driving the trucks. So as such, a lot of them have like retired. A lot of them have said, well, you know what, I'd rather go and drive a taxi. It's just too much hassle, this. And that's what's happening. Because if you push the wages down and increase the the requirements, eventually you break it. And that, that's happening everywhere. FM industry is lacking engineers. But at the same time, you've got managers coming out of your ears that are incompetent and useless. They've done, oh, I've done a six-week course on uh, online and now I'm a qualified Muppet. Well, fine. But at the same time, you don't even know... The differences between lights, you know, I'm talking fluorescent, talking uh, D-type, etc., etc. They don't know their own industry, and that's very concerning. And it's going throughout everything, and I don't know what, what we're doing. I really don't. This is why I say train yourself, stuff everybody else, stuff what they're doing. They're all following like sheep. And all it's doing is costing them more money. Um, do you need a degree in life? I do a degree in something I enjoy. Electronics, I'm qualified in. I would have liked to have done robotics and may eventually do a robotics degree. But I will not do it as home study because I want to be hands-on and with like-minded people because that's where the knowledge comes from. That's where I'm interested. Um, but I don't know where the world's going. You know, if I go and do a... The, I mean, the UK is full of this media studies. Media studies. Because it's government subsidised. It's get a loan, pay us back over the next 20 years. It, it's... It, it's nonsense. It really is nonsense. The UK used to have... Well, it used to be the FM... Uh, capital of the world because of its quality I struggle to find good engineers these days most of them aren't interested most of them are 
I mean, they've got, I'll be honest with you, most of the engineers I do have are good engineers. They, they're they just lacking enthusiasm these days because they're run by Muppets that assume that engineers are stupid, when the engineers are actually generally HNC, HND, um, are actually skilled and capable of doing their jobs, unlike people that are constantly on their phone going, oh, I'm so important. But, um, yeah... I had to have that rant today. It's just driving me nuts at the moment. I can't deal with the fact I'm no longer... Pr you know when people say I'm proud to be British? I ask the question, what are you proud of? Because, see, I'm quite angry that I am no longer proud to be British. We're becoming racist. We're becoming... Um, we're becoming, we're losing our rights at a stupid rate and allowing our government to do it. We're monitored more than anybody else. Um, we've got, you know, we've got more CCTV cameras than anywhere else on the planet. Um, we've got GCHQ spying into our everyday lives. And I question where are we going? We're now becoming a slave nation. Now, I'm not a socialist, by the way. I'm not a socialist. I, I don't like people that don't pull their weight. I hate it. Everybody, I believe everybody has the ability to do something. Now, does everybody have a right to work? I would question doing what? <laughs> you, know, it's a, you know, I'm logical. It's not always there. But what I, I'm concerned about is the push for automation... Um, because the more th things become automated, the less people are needed, which is okay if you actually introduce sterilization along with it to reduce the population, because if you don't, then you've just got a lot of people that are just ha having less and less function in life. I know some people said, well, you, people should get used to not working anymore. What are you talking about? It's There is no self-worth. People need to be doing something. That's where self-worth comes from. Without it, that's where your alcoholics and drug addicts come from. Your robberies, your um, people that feel they're worth nothing. As such, re rebel against the system. Which uh, gets me to another point. I think the UK is preparing for that. It's doing everything to sterilize the ability to have a revolt of any description. Um, the Muslim boy this morning relating to the spelling mistake A, it was overreacting and B, like I said, they don't bother investigating with MPs but also it sends a message that if you do something wrong we're going to come down hard on you as Joe Public and that's pretty much it because day to day stuff, you get burgled they don't turn up on time, the police don't turn up for hours if they turn up at all they will just say well here's a crime number and that's about it they fudge their figures they um, alter information and people need to realise police are not there for our benefit, police are there for state they always have been, always will be. And that's why, you know, I see stuff on YouTube where people give the police a bit of stick. The police are doing their job. They're not there for us. That would, that's a myth. They're there for the benefit of the state. They're there for the government. They're not there for you. They're not there for me. They're there for the benefit of the government. Um, they're there to keep law and order to suit the government and I say to suit the government because like I say the, this MP thing with child abuse is a prime example of how they don't do a thing when it comes to government same as um, charges against uh, Tony Blair for treason and other things they don't do a thing um, because they are government they won't even give you a parking ticket these days because they handed the parking over to the councils Bizarrely, I don't even know why they did that. That's another story for another day. But sorry, it, this rant's a bit long. But today I just sort of seen this thing with this poor ten-year-old kid, spelling mistake, getting absolutely hammered. Um, and I'm trying not to say we're not America in the UK, but that is not to be offensive to Americans. But 
it's becoming similar to your system. That's what that's the easiest way of putting it, and that's what bothers me. This is why I'm quite happy out in the Far East, where okay, they still have all this elitist nonsense, but it's not my problem there. When I see the state of the UK, and to think that for generations my family have been in the military defending and fighting for this country and to see what it's become is disappointing. Thanks for watching.